So here's how we're wiring the controller on the vector frame. A lot of people ask me how I'm doing it. Okay. Make sure your motor wire isn't hitting your bolts. So you can use a washer. If you don't have a washer, you can use a zip tie. I'm making sure that my wires are not touching. Okay, it goes on up, up inside the frame here, okay? I put my controller down. Water doesn't enter when you're riding, okay? It goes up in there, okay? Uh, motor wire to controller is gonna be one of these. You get them at uh, Home Depot. AutoZone has them. It's just a bus bar, terminal bus bar. I, you're only gonna use three. I put heat tape on mine and then, um, I put heat tape because in case it gets hot so it doesn't touch nothing and I put a little tape just for padding and noise control. Okay, then I got my wires here. Uh, this is a cap. That's your second set of holes. In case your first set of holes goes, that's your holes. Pretty self-explanatory. Come around here now. Now we have our uh, a brake. Uh, BK is brake. Okay, that would be up, up here. When you're riding, uh, if your throttle gets away from you, it's easier just to use that thumb switch for safety, okay? And then you got your three speed here, right? Three speed, one is one should be low, two is medium, three is overdrive. Okay, three speed is gonna be pink, blue, and black wire. Black wire being in the middle says three, okay? I did my own wiring, so I know where that goes to, okay? Now your throttle, throttle is three wires, okay? I put a T on mine. I usually put my red wire where the groove is, but your, your wires have to match your red and your black, red and black. The throttle wire is white, but it could be any color. The only important thing is, is that your throttle, thin red and thin black match up. Um, your key switch, okay, I'm using a, I'm using a turn key switch on this one, all right? So the key switch is going to be going to say key on it now what I did was I actually tapped into the yellow and the red wire here this is for your alarm we're doing 134 volts on this bike so we don't have a, an alarm that works now in your controller you're going to have a power wire this is full volts when you turn the key on this will be full volts so what I do is I run a wire up to it and I'm powering my inverter so this, this will do 134 volts live. So it's this wire, power wire goes up, hooks up to this red wire here. Okay, it says right there. And now your ground wire. Okay, so I have a charger port. You see the charger port up there? Charger port. Okay, my charger port goes to my battery also has this extra wire right here that's on your ground and that's going to also go to my dc supply here now off the dc supply the black is going to be shared for all the ground wires uh, for your lights for your battery for this year it's shared and um the yellow is going to be for your for your 12 volt supply lights or anything else that you want to run like that now, the beautiful thing about this is when you turn the key, your power is on. Your 12 volt uh, supply is now on. And I think it's pretty self explanatory. On the, on the terminal block, I overlap. I, I overlap them. Um, I, yeah, I usually don't. I usually don't use. this and this i take all the screws off one side and i overlap them on three of these you only need three you don't need four and then when you're all finished everything gets tucked in here and it, it does fit fits really good even your bluetooth dongle everything fits in there right this is your battery you keep this one up here and then you shove that down like that right and then and then you'll add it, it sits flat. In the video, I'm not going to be able to show you right now, okay? But, and then this goes on down there. After I squish all the wires, put everything down inside here. A little hard to do with one hand. And then you insert your battery, and that's how you do it. All right.